Hi, I'm Rachi Gautam, the host of this channel. Thank you so much for joining Insight. And in all of my videos, starting from today, you are going to get a lot of value-packed tips related to content writing, freelancing, search engine optimization, social media, so that you can also slay at your digital marketing career or whether you want to implement all these tactics into growing your own business, then you are heartily invited. Because in this channel, you are going to get a lot of bonus tips that will help you slay at freelancing, skyrocket your job and your small business. All right, coming back to the topic. In this entire video, I'm going to cover these five topics. First of all, what is the eligibility criteria for you to start your journey in digital marketing? Second, how to select the right digital marketing profile? Because there are a lot of profile in the market. What will be the profitable evergreen and easy for you to learn? And third, we are going to talk about how to learn these skills, how to build your sample work and how to get the clients. Fourth topic is how long it will take for you to become proficient and make significant income. And fifth, which is better for you, freelancing or full-time in digital marketing. So all these things you really need to know before you start your career in digital marketing. So I'm going to resolve all of it and giving you the right solution. So stay tuned till the end. All right, getting us started with the very important question. That is, what is the eligibility criteria to start your career in digital marketing? Let me tell you honestly, it's nothing. You does not require any kind of prior experience, degree or certification. Even if you're a fresher or 12th pass student, you are eligible for a lot of digital marketing profiles and that allows you a lot of remote works as well as the full-time job because in digital marketing expertise count experience does not okay even with this you should get relieved if you are a 12th pass student or an undergraduate if you are a mom having a long career gap or even if you are an employee in another industry and you want to try digital marketing or maybe you want to implement in your own business then you does not require any kind of work experience you can bravely start it even as a fresher so eligibility criteria is nothing. We only have to focus on the expertise. So as I just mentioned that experience does not count, expertise does. And that is our next point. That is about how to select the right digital marketing profile. Let me tell you, digital marketing itself is a very big world. Just like our planet Earth, where there are a lot of continents, just like that digital marketing itself is a very big world where a lot of profiles comes inside like content writing, social media, SEO, performance marketing, campaigns, advertisements, graphic designers, editors, the different digital marketing profile exist in today's market. But that does not mean that you have to learn all of it. Even if you pick one or two, you can make a significant career in the same. Let me tell you, when I started my career in digital marketing, I did my engineering. Okay. And after that, I landed my first job in content writing because I was so much curious about writing and editing. So I was that kind of person. And coming from different industry, I chose one skill. I successfully landed my first MNC job. Then after you know in the entire journey i learned social media i leveled up with search engine optimization skills and then i started my freelancing back in 2020 and it was a wonderful decision that allowed me a lot of freelance opportunity while i was be able to you know work from home even in the lockdown and i chose it as a full-time credit and that really helped me to work from home stay safe and make good amount of money as well without any expenditure so that can be you as well but the first thing is selecting the right profile. So I already spoke to you that there are a lot of digital marketing profile, but if you would like to select one, two or three, then I would like to suggest you the three best digital marketing profile that is profitable, lucrative, demanded and evergreen. It's not going to be just demanded in this decade, but after the decades also, it is going to be very great demand in market. So these profiles are content writing, social media marketing and search engine marketing. And if you want to get started with even one of it, it is okay. And if you want to learn some combination of the profile or skills, you can also learn for their one-stop solution package that will also help you to boost your expertise. Now, even if you're asking Prachi, I know these three profiles are there, but what should I be choosing? Okay, so I'm not the right person to give the decision that you should go for this or that, but I would like to give you some factors that will help you select the right digital marketing profile. So first one, content writing is perfect for those people who feel like, I'm, you know, I love to explain the things you love to read and do research then simply go for content writing you're having this kind of myth in your mind that oh my god i have to you know 
be very rich with the synonyms and I need to have a flawless grammar, you know, should be perfect in speaking as well. Don't worry. When I started, as I came from another industry, but it was very easy for me to learn and you do not have to be perfect. There are a lot of tools in the market, free tools and plugins that will help us to correct our grammars or just help us write in a perfect layout. In content writing, it's just the structure. Now, inside content writing also, there are a lot of, you know, uh, formats are there like script writing, uh, speech writing, lyricist. But if I'm speaking about today's business, then these clients are only requiring you these top five content writing styles, which is blog writing, technical writing, website content writing, emails, and social media. If you learn five of it also, that is perfect for you. Now, moving towards our next point, who should select the social media? So if you are a person who is always love to try new things and features and love to create a UGC content that is user-centric content, want to you know connect with the people and create some engaging strategy, then definitely you should go for social media marketing. And third, search engine marketing is perfect for those people who are more into analytical parties and having a patience when it comes to try test who is very fond of analytical love to play with figures and facts and and trying a lot of new methods then definitely you should go for search engine marketing now even if you're feeling like Rachi I haven't you know observed or I even do not know whether this profile is perfect or that profile you can blindly start with one profile and in your journey you can level up with another all three of them are very easiest profile and that is not even going to require you six months only in one to two months you can become an expert and start your entire journey in the same okay but if you need my help to help you select the right digital marketing profile please write down your queries in the comment section all right we will select the right profile for you moving to our next topic which is about how to learn how to build portfolio and how to find the clients so step one is learn. Learning is very, very important. In today's business, clients are looking for the professionals and experts. So let me make it very clear to you by giving an example. Suppose right now you're having rashes in your whole body and you want to consult a doctor whom you will go to, it's whether a physician or a dermatologist. Obviously, you will go to a dermat because you know this person can diagnose the right problem and can give you the right solution to overcome this. Just like now, today's companies and recruiters are finding a candidate who is an expert in a specific profile so that they can help them drive a desired outcome. All right. So in the same note, if you are choosing content writing, then you have to learn the structures of writing different styles. You should know how to write a perfect emails or blogs or newsletter or landing page, social media content, website content, or whatsoever it is. So you really have to learn the structures of different formats of content. You do not have to learn all of it, but at least five structure knowledge is very must. Second, if you want to start your career in social media marketing, then you should have proficiency in individual profiles. Like you should know what a strategy can work in Instagram, what can work on Facebook, what can work on LinkedIn. So you really have to have a knowledge of different social media platform algorithm. You need to know how to build a perfect content strategy for them, how to create a hashtag formula how to promote on his stories, writing a perfect caption. So you should be having all the knowledge of organic method as well as the paid advertisement. Okay. Now, if you're going for SEO marketing profile, then you have to really learn on page, off page SEO, both of them very thoroughly because client can come to you for ranking their website on top of the search engine. And that is going to require a lot of practical implementation and a complete step-by-step guide. Now, if you're wondering that Prachi, okay, you told us what exactly we need to learn, but how to learn. So, let me tell you that I founded my digital marketing academy named as You Savvy, where I'm teaching all these three skills, content writing, social media, and search engine marketing. I already taught thousand plus students who are slaying their freelancing and full-time career in digital marketing. So if you would like to check out the course detail, whether it's a recorded or the live session, then you can find all the things detailed on the description box. I have shared the link there. Or another method, you can simply go to my website, www.gothamprachi.com and check everything at your end. All right. Now moving towards our next step that is about how to make the sample work. Okay. So you learn. Learning is the very important method. But the second step that comes after learning is making your sample work. So as we are not necessarily an expert or having any degree or certification in digital marketing, have no experience, then how we can convince someone to hire us? We should, you know, justify our knowledge. 
And that lead is very important. That's building a sample work. Now place yourself in the position of a client. Suppose if you are sitting in a recruitment procedure and you will take a look at their report card of the candidate to understand how intelligent this particular person is. But as we are not having any degree certification to show, so sample work is going to play a very important role for you to, to showcase your knowledge. What these sample work are now? So this is a mock sample or practice work that we are going to do when we are learning the thing. Suppose you today learn the blog writing. Okay. So you can assign yourself a topic and you can write a article on that. If you are in a content writing field, then you can publish this articles or this content on the guest blogging platforms. There are free platforms like Medium, Reddit, Quora and LinkedIn articles where you can publish this content. And whenever you're applying for any job or freelancing project, you can attach your sample work that is going to speak well for you. For the SEO, you can follow the same procedure. But for social media, you need to have a social media page where you're promoting your own digital marketing skill. And you can also showcase this page as a sample work to a client that also works best. All right. So sample work is very important. Don't just learn and start finding the client. By doing this, you may find a lead, but they will not hire you because they do not have anything to see, to, you know, evaluate your potential, to examine your knowledge. So we have to present them a sample work as a beginner so that to make it easy for the recruiter and the client to select us. Now, the third step to become the high paid and demanded digital marketer is finding the clients, right? No one is going to know that you exist until and unless you show them. So how to find clients? You know, this is a very big question. What you should be simply doing is create a good social media presence like Instagram, LinkedIn, and start posting your content related to your services that you're offering. Example, if you are having a brand new page on LinkedIn and Instagram, you started posting and using hashtag that defines your services. And whenever a client is searching for you, they can find you through the explore page or through the hashtag. Then this is how you can increase your reach. There are a lot of, you know, uh, freelancing and full-time portals like Upwork, Fiverr, Freelancer.com, Nokri.com, Glassdoor. But what I suggest, if you are going for freelancing work, LinkedIn and Instagram is, you know, sufficient. Use the power of content strategy. The type of posts that you are publishing on social media should it stand out, should benefits of your services, your workflow, your testimonies, clients review. And even if you are a fresher, you can share some tips that can attract a client to understand that you are a right person. You do have planning the perfect content can definitely help you to showcase that you are very well updated with the algorithms, new features, your content should reflect that advantages of your services can make a client understand that, yes, I need it. If they know that they require the services for the sake of that particular growth, then definitely they got a reason to hire you. So please speak about your benefits, uh, workflow, tips, tricks, strategy related to your services. But in a very concise form, you do not have to teach someone. You are not a teacher. You are just a service provider. So you have to just build a hype for your services. Okay. The best method to find the freelancing client is for sure LinkedIn and Instagram. You can simply go to LinkedIn and go to the search engine of jobs, type whatever the profile that you want a client for and select some filters like part-time, remote work, and you'll get a lot of opportunity where you can apply. If you're going on Instagram, you can simply go to the search engine and write hashtag content writer job, hashtag social media job or opportunity. You'll get a lot of posts where you can apply. But if you want to know a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to find the freelancing client on LinkedIn, Instagram, then I'm dropping the link of my Instagram reel where I covered everything from this scratch. So you can watch it as well. Moving towards our next step, that is about how long will it take for me to become a proficient and make around 70,000 to 1 lakh per month? All right. This is a very common question that I used to get from a lot of freelancers and aspirants in digital marketing. Basically, if you invest your 45 days in any of these skills, content writing, social media or searching, it's enough for you to become an expert. You can learn it very easily within a short span of time with practical implementation. So please invest your at least 30 to 40 days in learning, then next 10, 15 days in making sample works, and then you can start finding the uh, potential clients and the job. So it's going to require around 45 days that is sufficient for you to learn and build sample work. If you're thinking that, okay, in the starting, I'm getting client, but how long will it take for me to make at least 50,000 plus in a month? Then let me be very honest. I'm in this industry from more than a five years. So I have seen all of the 
you know, sinusoidal waves in the same journey. So I can tell you that it's not going to be an overnight journey. You have to really make a commitment every single day to at least two hours you're learning and one hour you're making the sample work. And if you're ready to give your 200%, I'm pretty sure within a four to five months, you will be making at least 50 to 70,000 per month. That's what my students are already making more than a lakhs. And this journey can really be yours because this is a tried and tested method from me and my thousands of students where some of them are slaying at their career and earning decent income. Okay. And you can be the next. Perfect. Now moving towards our next step, that is, which is better, full-time or freelancing? This is a longer debate. Nothing is better than another. The thing is, if you're a person who loves to work in a flexible hours from your home and want to travel and, you know, just uh, want a lot of freedom in your work environment, select your own clients, set your own charges, then freelancing is for you. And if you're a person who loves to work in a team and want to perform a task with multiple members in your team, then definitely full-time can also be a great way for you. It depends on what your personality is like, then you can select anything. But my personal opinion is you can start your journey or maybe internship for a few months, one to two months, and you can directly start freelancing. Or maybe you can, without even an internship, you can slay at freelancing. You will get a lot of good clients. And full-time is also, you know, okay. But I will go for definitely for freelancing. That's the reason why I quit my job. I done, did job for three years. Then I started freelancing. And the growth is really amazing in freelancing. So that's my word for freelancing. Anyway, so this is all you need to know before you start career in digital marketing. If you want to know more detailed version of how to start freelancing in digital marketing, don't forget to watch this masterclass because it covers everything from A to Z to build a successful freelance and full-time digital marketing career. So I'm also dropping the link below of that masterclass. You can just go check that out. And if you want to hold my hand and start this freelancing, then don't forget to subscribe this channel. Because I'm going to publish much more videos weekly related to content writing, social media, SEO and freelancing tips. And if you have any question that you would like to ask me personally, please drop it down in the comment section. And if you like it, please give a little thumbs up. It really matters a lot to me. And if you want to get a dose of freelancing and digital marketing on a daily basis, please follow me on my Instagram. And my Instagram handle name is at the rate gothamprachi.co. All right, that is it for this video. So I really hope you like this video and stay tuned for more such videos. See you.